Welcome friends to some more Ark Survival Evolved. And today, I'm going to show you how to solo tame the Tusotuthis. Also known as the squid. I you know that pronunciation, Tusotuthis? Oh, not that easy. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to solo tame one if you're playing on a map, either it's server or your single player game, and you don't have anyone else to help you out. It's a lot simpler if you're more than one person because one person can learn, the other one can go in and give that feeding to tame it because it is a passive tame, but it actually works really well single player as well. And I'm going to, I'm going to go through a simple way to do that. And the first time I've tamed uh, Tusa to this, I actually did that in a group, actually with co-op with a friend. But doing it solo is actually uh, pretty much as easy as long as you just keep your cool and don't panic which is actually easier said than done and to get a little bit of a sense of the scale of the tusa uh, look at this this is my small little boat that i have there which is about it's a motorboat so it's like one two three six eight nine blocks uh, long or something and look at how huge this one is. I like the color though, it's not too bad. This kind of orangey kind of thing. And it's really, really huge. It's really difficult to hide it anywhere, <laughs> but it's really powerful in the water as well. Now let's have a little bit of a look here at the stats. Uh, mine is actually, I tamed a really low level. I think this was, was about 40 or something when I tamed it and I boosted up health. You probably don't necessarily do that, which is another, another story to talk about, but you probably wanna make sure you boost up the melee damage because more melee damage helps more than actually help because you wanna kill whatever is out there rather than allowing them to hit you. The better saddle you have, of course, also means that you don't really need to pump as much health. However, you know, getting some five, six, seven thousand into the health might be useful anyway, at least to begin with, just to make sure it doesn't dive when it just runs into a megalodon or something else. And if I go diving here and I don't have my diving gear on so you can actually see better, it's actually frightfully fast. It's really, really fast. It looks like eh, it's not so bad, but it's actually really fast. I think it's one of the fastest underwater creatures out there because it's so big so you can swim really, really fast. Just make sure you have enough oxygen. Otherwise, make sure you go up and get some because drowning is not advised. It's also, of course, a fairly good fighter and it can capture things and that's really why you want to get one of these. If you have a Tuso this, you can actually tame or actually knock out a bunch of creatures in the ocean, which just makes taming them a lot easier. A few things you need to think about when you start taming the squid. Firstly, you want to make sure that you have some scuba gear. If you don't, you might be able to do it if you use one of the Lazarus chowder and just pump tons into oxygen but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it's kind of annoying to go, get, go down there and then you just suffocate and drown and you know, the bad day all around. Secondly, make sure you do this during the daytime is my recommendation because once it gets gloomy, it's a little bit hard to see not just where the squid is, but where other things are all around because you wanna make sure you sort of clear the area. And one of the easy ways to do that is, well, if you have another squid that works, if you have a Mosasaur, of course it works as well. But even a simple Basilosaurus is really tanky and easy to just clear everything around, to kill the sharks and everything that is close enough once you've located a squid. You also need to make sure that you have a healthy supply of black pearls. You need at least 50 even for a low level and it might go up depending on your taming settings on your server as well. So have a bunch of them with you. The key thing is to make sure you put the first batch of the 50 black pearls in your zero slot because that's the one you're using for taming the squid. And the squid is a passive tame, even though it looks like it's really, really dangerous. And once you've located it, sort of swim around. If you're on your Bacillosaurus, that works. If you're on a Baronyx, that actually works pretty well as well. Now, I have brought a as well. The problem with the Bacillosaurus, well, one of the good things actually, is that it cannot be grabbed by the squid. And that's also a problem because it means you cannot use it for taming. So the taming actually works this way, that the squid will, when it's nearby you, turn around and it will grab you, hopefully not you, but hopefully the turtle once it's holding that one, you can dismount and swim up to its mouth or beak or whatever it's called, maw, and feed it passively those 50 black pearls. And this is why it's so important that you have a creature that has a lot of health and the turtle can be leveled up to quite a lot of health. Mine has about 12, 13,000, which is good and a nice saddle as well. 
And if it's low level enough, it will be tame. You can name it and get the hell out of there. Now, depending on your taming settings on your server, or if it's a really high level, you might need multiple batches of black pearls. What will happen then is that, and I can show that because on my server, the ones I found was basically lower level. You do the same steps, but once you fed it once, just take up straight up as far as you can. So you get out of the reach of this squid. And this is another reason, when you've located, try to sort of tease it to a nearby its depth limit because it will not go above a certain limit. So you can actually sort of swim over it, not too close because it will grab you, but swim over it knowing that it's not going to reach you. It's actually going to de-aggro on you and that actually makes it a safe area. And you go down to it and you let it aggro on your creature. As you can see here, it's coming in, it doesn't quite like my turtle, and it's gonna go and grab it. Once it's grabbed it, it's gonna start dealing damage to your ridden dino. And this is where, if it's got a lot of health, it's easier. But either way, make sure you have the black pearls in your zero slot. You dismount from the saddle, swim up to the maw, and hit E to passively tame it by feeding it those black pearls. As you can see, it's tamed. And this is where, if it requires multiple feeding sessions, make sure you have your beasts all set on follow you and just swim upwards. Then you have to wait for it to be hungry again before you try again. Now, black pearls are the best way of taming them, but black pearls can be a little bit tough to, to actually find if you don't know how to. I have made another video of how to find them using the trial of bites, but of course you can also find them depending on map, even on Ragnarok like me, you can actually find them in clamps and actually pick them up just like the regular pearls. But if not, there are other ways to, to tame them. For instance, you could use the cooked lamb chops. Those are almost as good. Of course, they are not necessarily as easy to get in bulk unless of course you have some ogres. Beyond that, I wouldn't really try it. You can use prime meat and raw meat and stuff like that, but you were talking about a really, really, really long time to actually tame even a low level one. And again, get those black pearls and then try to tame because you just need one. Once you have one squid, you can actually easier just collect more black pearls by using it to kill other squids. And a simple way to just get the black pearls if you don't have one is to get a high level Basilosaurus and use that one to kill other squids and especially alpha squids. Now the interesting thing here, when I was doing this one, I thought, fine, let me just take this one out for a little bit of a swim, swim around a little bit just to see how fast it is. And I saw a second squid in the area and I thought, hey, What's better than one squid? Well, why not get two of them? And I actually had made sure that I had 100 black pearls on me and actually doing the exactly the same thing. Looking around the area, quickly killing a mangalodon that was a little bit too close because he could come and aggro on you and then he'll mess up your day. He might attack your, your, your dinos and everything and you don't want that. So I just whacked him first and then went down to the squid again. Used my turtle and started swimming down to the squid. As you can see, he will come towards you, he will grab you. And that's when I repeated the same step as I just showed you. Exit, unmount from your, your my turtle in this case, swim up to the maw, feed him those black pearls you hitting E, make sure the pearls are on zero. If they're not on zero, you can't actually passively tame it. And then he was tamed. See how easy that was? Actually, two squids. Yes, they're fairly low level, but low level is better than no level. And now I have two extra squids. And that's really how simple it is to solo tame the two so toothes. And one last thing when you're doing this, when you're trying to tame the squid, make sure you are not too close to the bottom of the ocean or nearby cliff or even at the edge of the map because when he grabs you if he and the tentacles are really long if he actually pushes you and your dino into the ground into the mountain or out of the map well you will have a bad day because you will ought to die and your dino will ought to die and you will lose all your stuff because you can't actually collect it because it's outside of the map it's best to make sure there's a little bit of free water just around and uh, because he follows you, make sure you just lead him away a little bit. And if you enjoyed this solo guide of how to tame the Tusatutis, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and why not leave a like. And the next weeks I'll look into some easy ways to actually use this squid when you're doing some taming, so stay tuned for those as well. But stay safe 
I'll see you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.